Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the stories we're following tonight. An East Tawas woman who shot her neighbor's cat with a crossbow has been sentenced to two years of probation. The Iosco County prosecutor tells TV5 Taylor Shipman was granted probation through the Holmes Youthful Trainee Act, an act designed so that people who were young when they committed crimes whose brains haven't fully developed would not be held criminally responsible and have something on their record as long as they complete their probation. Shipman pleaded guilty to shooting this cat, Oliver, with a crossbow last July. His head and neck were pierced by a crossbow bolt, resulting in a three-day stay at the Tawas Animal Hospital. The suspect accused of shooting someone inside an Owasso bar has been found competent to stand trial. Officials tell TV5 Christopher Stubbs is suspected of shooting a person in the leg inside the Rainbow Bar in Owasso last December. Stubbs is due in court next week for a probable cause hearing. Have you ever heard of a splatter ball gun? Well, here it is. It's a toy that shoots water or air pellets, but this one has been painted so it could be mistaken for a real weapon. On top of that, there's a social media challenge where you shoot at people with these splatter ball guns, often from out of cars, and you record the whole thing. Police in LaGrange, Georgia, say this could end terribly. They say they've already arrested a 17 year old on simple assault and reckless conduct charges, but their biggest concern is that anyone could mistake them for a real gun, especially at night, which could lead to people pulling out their weapon in self defense. It could land you in jail or it could end up in a situation where you get hurt or somebody else you know, seriously gets hurt and then you're, you, you've changed the whole course of your life over a toy. And now let's go to Chris for a look at your forecast. Meg, it looks a little bit chilly tonight, upper 20s to low 30s, but we do expect to warm up pretty quickly for tomorrow. The one thing to keep an eye out for is we'll have a chance for some patchy fog. So areas that are projected to fall below freezing late tonight. Keep an eye out if you see fog on your commute tomorrow morning. It may be a little icy here and there. Your first one, five pinpoint Doppler radar live from MBS shows that things are all dry tonight. That's a change for some after a wintry mix passed through this morning. A little bit of rain in other areas too. But now some areas ending the day with some sunshine and will continue to clear out a little bit until tomorrow when that warm front moves through, but it's not expected to produce any precipitation. It may keep a few clouds around, but more importantly, it warms our temperatures up significantly. A lot of upper 50s to low 60s for highs tomorrow afternoon, and it comes with dry weather and nice change of pace from what we dealt with earlier this morning. As for your hour by hour forecast, you can see the clouds not going away entirely, especially with that fog in the morning, but still plenty of of breaks in those, so a good amount of sunshine for our Wednesday. Looks like Thursday we'll have a chance to do it all over again temperature wise, but we'll also have a few more clouds to deal with and can't rule out a late day shower. As for your seven day forecast, we'll keep the 40s through the weekend before uh, rising a little bit on Sunday back to the 50s there with some sun and then some clouds early next week, but also 40s and 50s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.